Hello everybody, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. I'm showing you the products that I'm using. I'll also list them in the description box so that you can check that out. I used six packs of the Free Tress Water Wave Hair in 12 inches and I had to purchase everything that I needed. So I did spend about $80 on this style, but depending on what you already have at home, you may not have to spend as much as I did. I'm parting my hair in half first and ladies, honestly this was the hardest part. Like I struggled so bad doing this by myself. So if you got a friend or your mama, auntie, cousin, grandma that can part your hair for you, I would suggest you to ask them because it will save you so much time. And a quick tip, if you have any flyaways like around your edges or from the previous uh, part, go ahead and put edge control on it so you can hold that those hairs in place. And I wanted to keep this part of the clip in the video just because like, I wanted to show you the struggle. Like this was not easy at all. And my part was crooked, so I did have to go back a few times, but eventually I get it semi-right. chose to part my hair and put the rubber bands on first and then start the crocheting process. Um, I don't know if it would have been faster to put on the rubber bands then crochet but I just chose to go ahead and do all the rubber bands first. And looking back at these clips, I definitely see that my parts are not perfect, but again, I had to do it by myself and I tried with what I had. <laughs> There are two different ways to add in the crochet hair. One is using no knots. You can also see how I twist the hair for security and I did slow that part down. Now with the no knot method, I did find that my hair was more loose than when I used the knots, um, when I actually knotted the crochet hair around the rubber band. And I'm gonna show you that method as well. And you're just basically going to take two pieces of crochet here and separate it to your liking. This is the second method using the crochet here to knot around the rubber band. It's tough to get at first, especially if you lose the knot, but I'll show you again.
Because my hair is cut in a blunt bob, I added rubber bands to the ends of my hair to hide any flyaways sticking out. You also cannot detect the rubber bands throughout the hair even though, you know, it's in the middle of the twist. I'm showing the knot method again. Try to grab the knot before you remove the hook. I feel like the more you separate the crochet hair, the juicier the twist will be. So um, you'll see me like separating until it's real fluffy because I want that juicy twist. Finishing up the last two, the knot method makes the hair feel tighter. So if I were to do the style again or on someone else, I would definitely knot the crochet hair around the rubber band and then twist it. And doing these, I learned that my rubber bands could have been tighter. I made them loose because of course it is a protective style, but I could have made them a little tighter so that the hair was more secure. This is the finished product. This style took me about six hours to do, but the longest part again was parting. I wanted it to be neat, so I did take uh, my time and I took multiple breaks as well. Now ladies, mousse is um, crochet hair's best friend. It helps with flyaways and just to hold the hair in place. So make sure you use a generous amount.
And since this is my first time doing this style, I did have to go back and retwist a few pieces that came undone. But overall, this style was easy to do and very cute. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as I always say, I love you, but God loves you more. Bye, y'all.